From LEX 18, your official UK sports station for Big Blue Nation, this is BBN Tonight. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Big Blue Nation taking over the fog in more, ways, in more ways than one. <laughs> Our guy Keith Farmer was there. He took that video, and he's traveling home today, which means we're happy to have Eli Gain filling in. Welcome to BBN Tonight. I'm Anna Tarullo. No better time to fill on this show than after Kentucky's beatdown right. of the number five team in the country on the road. Mm -hmm. Kellen Grady joining us to relive all the fun in just a few minutes. Tom Leach will also be with us to break down how Kentucky rock chalked the Jayhawks in their own house for the first time since 1983. And we'll start with that for tonight's Big Blue Story, presented by CHI St. Joseph Health. An 8-0 run gave Kentucky the lead early in the first half, and they never looked back. Clicking on all cylinders, the Cats went into the locker room with a 20-point lead. At that point, Keon Brooks had already put 12 on the board, but he hit another level in the second half. At one point, scoring 15 in a row, Kansas didn't completely go away thanks to a 7-0 run that cut the Cats' lead to 14 in the second half. But Brooks again to the rescue. He stopped their spurt with a pair of jumpers, and the Jayhawks never seriously threatened again. The Cats get the 80-62 win and Brooks earns a new career high 27 points. So it had to be asked, how did he do it? What did he have for dinner? Chicken, salmon, some mashed potatoes. I try to drink a Gatorade in the water before every game. And then, uh, I don't know, I, was just, I just felt good tonight. It wasn't just make baskets. Please don't say 27 points. He rebounded. He defended. He came off the weak side on a lob and tipped it away. They caught a foul, but it was a great play. He was switching all the stuff, and then he made shots. What if he missed four or five shots? That's okay. Do all that other stuff. But I was proud of him. Next time I have a big interview, I know what I'm eating for dinner the night yeah. before. <laughs> Cal also said we were dying, and Keon made stuff out of nothing. Eli, it makes sense that he's the SEC Player of the Week. Oh, without a doubt. 19 and a half points he averaged last week. Uh, it's the fourth cat to earn this honor this year. And 27 points, it was great to see arguably the – I would say, what, probably his best performance in a, in a Kentucky he was uniform. On fire. Yes. Well, Kentucky's defense limiting Kansas to 62 points, which ties a season low for the Jayhawks. And the Cats handed National Player of the Year contender Ochai Agbaji, one of his least productive games of the year, played 36 minutes, only had 13 points, two rebounds, and three assists. Bill Self talked after the game and was clearly impressed by the Wildcats. That's a team that we played tonight that could win it all. They're really, really, really good defensively. Cal's teams are always good defensively. But I said, you know what, they don't really have shot blockers. They block zero shots and still yet they made us miss every shot inside of four feet. Oscar is, is different. Uh, and we've known this all along. He doesn't get 14 rebounds a game or 15 rebounds a game. He really gets about 25 because he keeps balls alive on the ones he doesn't get to let his teammates clean up. He's a much better rebounder than what his stats show. And his stats show he's the best rebounder hands down in the country. Oscar's play earned him the Naismith Trophy Player of the Week honors. And the national voters impressed with the Wildcats, too. Kentucky moves up from number 12 to number 5 in this week's AP poll. It's the first time in more than two years where the Cats have cracked the top five. The last time, 2019, when UK spent the first week of the season at number 1. This week, Auburn stayed at number 1, followed by Gonzaga, UCLA, and Purdue. In the SEC, Tennessee 22nd, LSU is 25th, and Bama who handed Baylor a pretty decent loss on Saturday, is ruled right now as the first team out. For the second year in a row, Kentucky football is searching for an yeah. offensive line coach. Eric Wolford has reportedly accepted the same position at Alabama. Nothing official from the schools yet, but Wolford has changed his Twitter bio to University of Alabama offensive line coach. Mm. Under Wolford, the Big Blue Wall was a finalist for the Joe Moore Award, which is given to the nation's best offensive line. Whoever Stoops brings in to replace him will have a lot of turnover to deal with. 
Kenneth Horsey and Eli Cox are the only returning starters. Yep, big challenge for sure. Tough weekend for the women's basketball team, falling to LSU 78-69 to on the road. Kentucky still short-handed. The Cats had just seven players available this weekend. Luckily, one of them was Ryan Howard, who put up 23 points and moves into second place on Kentucky's all-time career scoring list. Freshman Jada Walker scored a career-high 21, but the Tigers were the better team down the stretch, shooting almost 70% in the fourth quarter after playing four games in seven days last week, especially being shorthanded, that's tough. The Cats now have some time to rest. The next game is set for Sunday at noon when they welcome in Texas A&M inside Memorial Coliseum. All right, still ahead, Tom Leach joins the show to talk basketball and gives his two cents about the future of the Big Blue Wall. Plus, I had the chance to talk with Granddad Brady after <laughs> another stellar performance. Our conversation is right after the break, only on BBN Tonight.